Legs. I've still got legs. Good. Arms. Hands. Ooh. Fingers. Lots of fingers. Ears. Yes, eyes too. Nose. And I've had worse too. But I'm here. I'm a girl. No. No. I'm not a girl. No. I'm still not ginger. I'm something else. I'm something important. I'm... I am... I am... Crashing! Smith played the 11th Doctor from 2010 to 2013. In the series 5 two-part episode of The Rebel Flesh and the Almost People, the Doctor cloned himself. This is the 20th Doctor Who Doesn't Count. In the episode Amy's Choice, the main villain is the Dream Lord, played by Toby Jones. At the end of the episode, the Doctor reveals that the Dream Lord was a personification of his inner evil, similar to the Valyard. In the Series 7 episode, Nightmare in Silver, Matt Smith had a dual role. He played the 11th Doctor as well as Mr. Clever, a cyber planner who tried to take over the Doctor's mind. Since he failed, he is not the Doctor. There are many Doctor Who parodies. One that I forgot to mention, and a few I didn't know about. Mark Gattis played the Doctor in a short parody called The Web of Caves. There was an even shorter parody in Harry Enfield and Jums, but I couldn't find out the name of the person who played Doctor Who are you looking at? <laughs> who are you? I'm Doctor Who are you looking at? I'm calm down, eh? I'm insane. Where's all these friggin' Daleks then, eh? Come on, I'll bleed next day a minute, yeah, when I get older. <laughs> And Doctor Who's very first parody was a sketch in an old BBC show called It's Square World, where Clive Dunn played Dr. Fotheringham. Whom have I the honour of addressing? Oh, Dr. Fotheringham. Doctor Who? No, not Doctor Who. In the Lenny Henry show, Lenny Henry himself played the seventh Doctor. <laughs> where are we? This must be the control room of the Cybermen's leader. You mean? Thanks. Davros? No. She's a woman. Mrs. Davros. <laughs> the most ruthless woman in the universe. Thatos. Thatos? <laughs> I'm running the whole ball game now. The opposition have been brought to their knees. The unions have had their knees removed. In the 11th Doctor's final episode, The Time of the Doctor, the Doctor had used up all 12 of his regenerations, which meant he was dying. Then, his companion, Clara Oswald, convinced the Time Lords to save him by giving him extra lives. Listen to me, you lot. Listen! Help him. Help him change the future. Do it. Do something. Well, you knock yourself out, boys. Got nothing this time. <laughs>
Peter Capaldi played the 12th Doctor from 2013 to 2017. In the Series 9 finale, Hellbent slash Heaven Sent, the Doctor gets trapped in his confession dial for about four and a half billion years, and he kept dying. But each time he died, a clone of him was created. There is no way to count how many clones there are, and this does technically mean the original Doctor is dead and we've been watching a clone since 2016. I'm going to ignore this and move on. Laugh hard. Run fast. Be kind. Doctor. I let you go. Jodie Whittaker played the 13th Doctor from 2018 to 2022. She was split into three different versions of herself during the events of Flux. And we have now counted all of the Doctors who don't count. In the show. In the Big Finish audiobooks there is a parallel universe called the Unbound Universe which has its own different incarnation of the Doctor, known as the Unbound Doctor, played by David Warner. Big Finish also created the Old Mortalities universe, which also has its own Doctor, played by Geoffrey Bailden. Trevor Martin played an alternative fourth Doctor in the stage play The Seven Keys to Doomsday. Arabella Weir plays the Exile Doctor from another Big Finish parallel universe. Her previous incarnation regenerated via suicide, and she worked at Sainsbury's, under the name Susan Foreman. Why? By the way, the comic strip where the Eighth Doctor sees his possible future selves isn't called The Glimpse, it's called The Tomorrow Windows. The first possible Ninth Doctor he saw was described to resemble Eddie Izzard, who had been rumoured to be the Ninth Doctor. The second one he saw was described to resemble Alan Davis, who was also rumoured to be the Ninth Doctor, and then the third was the Schalke Doctor, as played by Richard E. Grant. I've just found out that Big Finish had another Parallel Universe Doctor, played by David Collings, who is the same actor who played Mordrin in Mordrin Undead. As far as I know, I have now counted all of the Doctors who don't count. If there are more, tell me in the comments. The most recent episode, The Power of the Doctor, ended with the 13th Doctor's regeneration into David Bloody Tennant. 
David Tennant will play the 14th Doctor in the 60th anniversary specials in November this year, even though this is the same actor who played the 10th Doctor and the Metacrisis Doctor. His new role as the 14th Doctor is officially being called a separate incarnation, despite the similarities. After the 60th is all done, he will regenerate into the 15th Doctor. Someone tell me what the hell is going on here! Shooty Gatma. As far as I know, I have now counted all the Doctors. If there are more, then I don't care. <laughs>